What's up, everybody? You know, I love this low pressure aeroponics system. It's been effective, reliable, and to be honest, it hasn't been a maintenance nightmare. But ever since I built my high pressure system, something just seems missing from this. Almost like this system is incomplete. Today, I'll be giving this system a complete overhaul to make it more efficient and virtually fully automated. I'm gonna walk you through exactly what I did and you won't believe how cheap and easy this is gonna be. Lock in. So let me clear the air on something. I'm not unhappy with the low pressure system. I mean, yeah, it's basically deep water culture with spray nozzles, but it's still low pressure aeroponics. It has a single reservoir, a low pressure pump, and spray nozzles that create tiny droplets. So until the roots touch the water, it technically is low pressure aeroponics. But y'all know me, I'm going all in with high pressure. So we'll need a separate reservoir, a high pressure pump, and brass misting nozzles to create a fine mist but I ain't stopping there, I'm taking it to the next level. For this build, I'm using a nine gallon storage container, three eighth inch vinyl tubing, quarter inch grommets, three eighth to quarter inch push connect fittings, a small water transfer pump. It might be tiny, but trust me, this thing keeps the water pumping. Heavy duty Velcro, because I want the flexibility to move things around. Everything else I'll need is inside this tiny box. This is our misting system, and it has everything we'll need to build a high pressure aeroponic system. I couldn't believe the price of these. They were practically giving this crap away, and I couldn't believe how much power they packed inside that tiny box. First, we got a control module with a touch screen and a built-in timer. And of course, they sent the USB power cable and quarter inch tubing and a variety of really useful quarter inch fittings like a quarter inch filter with a sponge tip and quarter inch push connect tees. Now I ain't gonna lie, the spray nozzles are kind of mid. They're plastic and plus they require some assembly. Ain't nobody got time for that. Instead, I'm using these brass misting nozzles that I found online. I got a bunch of them for dumb cheap and they work flawlessly. <laughs> now that I've got the parts, let's build this thing. I'll start by removing the air stone, water pump, and disconnecting the tubing from the sides of the container. I'll need two new holes, a quarter inch hole at the top and a 3 8 inch hole at the bottom. That's for our drain, so we'll need a grommet to make it watertight. I'll attach one sticky side of Velcro to the container and attach the other side to the control module. This will make maintenance a breeze. I moved the location of one of the clips so that I could run my quarter inch line through the other open hole. Then I locked in the tubing to the side of the container using the clips that were already in place and then connected it all back together using a quarter inch push connect T. Next, I ran another quarter inch line through the grommet. This is for the drain. And I attached the quarter inch filter at the end of the line. That way we won't accidentally suck up any roots. Next, I attached the brass misting nozzles. The nozzle heads screw on and off for easy cleaning. And finally, it's time to boot up the control module. Programming it was simple. Since I'm growing in high pressure aeroponics, I want a really short schedule, so I set the pump to run for three seconds every five minutes. Now let's give it a quick test. Oh yeah, the box is done. Now let's go take a look at the rest of the system. So in the garden, I've got a control module for each box. And outside the garden, I've got water transfer pumps. These will suction the water out from the drains and then return it back to the reservoir. So let me give you a quick tour of the system, starting at the reservoir. Our nutrient water comes out of the top and it goes through the quarter inch tubing into the garden. Then I ran a line to the misting pump on the side of the box. 
I've got a line from the misting pump into the box connected to the misting nozzles and the water is going to fill up in the bottom over time. And when it does, I've got a quarter inch line from the drain at the bottom of the box. It goes outside of the garden where it connects to the 3 8 inch tubing and goes all the way back up and to the water transfer pumps. And then from the water transfer pumps back down to the reservoir. And that is how I created the closed loop. The pumps are on a seven day vacation timer. So all I gotta do is hit the switch and watch the magic happen. So with a few cheap parts, I've completely overhauled the system, making it highly efficient and eliminating waste by returning the water to the cool reservoir outside the garden. I'm using this right now in my grow series, so if you're hyped to see that, drop a like and subscribe for more DIYs just like this.